Yo, what is going on? We finally have Baruto Chapter 50 out. Gonna be giving a really quick review, going over the slides, going over some of the things that happened, and kind of giving my uh, my thoughts and opinions on the chapter. Uh, before I start, you guys feel free to join the Discord, link in the description. Uh, trying to get that started again so we can have some like interesting discussions and, and whatnot. But anyway, so let's start with the first, not first slide, but first slide that I, I clipped here. So... Uh, this basically starts with, um, Boruto explaining how he got Ishiki here, and then Ishiki just attacks, uh, the gang, so, I'm ready starting out with some action, no, no talking at all, I don't think Ishiki even said a word before they started fighting, so, literally just all action from the start. Okay, and now moving on to this next scene, I think this is, uh, this is... Uh, Kawaki, he's having a dream, as we showed in the spoilers, he was having a dream of uh, Jigen at the time, talking to Kawaki, telling him things like he's empty, uh, he's, uh, he's, there's a hole in his heart, things like that, and that's basically why he was given this uh, special mark, the karma, uh, from, from, um, from Ashiki, so that's kind of like a dream, he's having a bad dream right now kind of reminiscing of some of the things that has happened in his past so we kind of get a little bit of background info on that not too much though not too much and i think you can see him in like his test tube kind of thing i want to call it that but yeah let's move on let's move on so kawaki wakes up he kind of uh amato explains to kawaki kind of what happened um basically tells him the rundown and then he looks at his hand and he's like yo my karma is gone and he's he's really confused because I'd be confused too. He had no recollection of this happening. So uh, Amato goes on to explain how uh, how Jigen or Ishiki used Jigen's karma to resurrect himself, and that's why his karma disappeared. So now Ishiki has to replant his karma onto Kawaki. So that's kind of the basic uh, stuff that's going on here. And they're kind of telling me it's free, but. He's not really free because Ashiki is still out there. So, yeah. And they kind of explain, like, if he, we can wait a couple of days and he doesn't plant it on Kawaki, then Ashiki will be dead. And that might be the only, only way to stop Ashiki, honestly. That might be the only way to stop Ashiki is just to run the clock out. They're going to time, time him out, I guess, basically. Um, that is one of the strategies that they're talking about. So, yeah. That is one of the strategies. But anyway... Back to the fight, uh, we see Naruto and Sasuke throwing out all their attacks. Uh, Naruto goes and grabs him while Sasuke uh, attacks him from behind with a Chidori. Now, peep this. Ashiki gets himself out of that. And he throws on these these strange blocks, and we don't know we don't know what these blocks are. I guess it's just like this regular block. <laughs> I don't know. We have no clue. They don't seem like they're like too special. But he throws on the blocks to uh, crush them, but it doesn't work out. And then uh, Ashiki goes ahead and attacks Sasuke with, uh, he has like this rod thing similar to like what Naruto used. So like one, the black rods, the black rods, he has, he has one of those. So he attacks Sasuke with the black rod and then he uses his eye power to actually shrink Sasuke's sword. I thought this was dope. He, <laughs> he gave Sasuke like this little tiny, little tiny like sword. So that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool from Ashiki. I like seeing that. So he basically knocks down Sasuke, takes his own sword, and he's getting ready to kill him, right? So this is what happens. Uh, Bruto is getting ready to save Sasuke. So he jumps in. And then uh, before this, we have a little another back, uh, background scene. So uh, Mado's talking again. Uh, he says, it sounds like a karma ceiling jutsu. Jigen has used the same jutsu. And then uh, one of the scientists says, young master will be killed. Bruto is no match for Ishiki. But Ish uh, Amato says something really, really interesting, which I think is going to be very important uh, moving forward on these uh, other chapters. He says, if you look at just his base strength, this is for Bruto, but you and I know, but you know, I think he's become aware of his potential value against Ashiki. So Baruto knows that he has some value in this fight. Bruto actually maybe have a, he might have a chance to actually beat Ashiki. I think, I think Bruto is literally the only way they're going to manage to beat him. I don't know how. I think there's something with his karma still, 
or something that is going to come out. Whether it be Boroshiki, whether Momoshiki takes over his body completely, I don't know. I'm not sure. But anyway, went off a tangent. But anyway, he goes in, he throws that rock to save uh, Sasuke. Uh, he gets him out of there. I think I think he used the rock to like switch places with uh, with him, but I'm not 100% sure. But yeah. Uh, basically, Shiki went in for the kill. He missed. So Sasuke and Bruto are now okay. And then uh, Shiki and Bruto exchange some dialogue. And then Bruto's like, "Why'd you freeze up?" And I guess I guess this kind of concludes that theory of like he can't kill him because he needs Bruto there to speed up the karma process. So yeah. So basically, he's like, "Yeah, you can't kill me at all." So that, that was pretty much the whole chapter. Uh, we learned we learned a lot of new things. We learned that Bruto, which we probably already expected, Bruto is going to be the main factor in this fight. So Bruto is going to have the spotlight uh, for this fight and like the last um, Osuki fight against Mobushiki. So it's going to be very interesting. I don't I don't know what Bruto's plan is yet. Unless it's going to be Mobushiki, unless he's going to get controlled by Mobushiki. I can't imagine what it is, but. There's definitely some indicators that Ishiki cannot kill Brute, or he can't, he, he, he can't, or he, he's going to hesitate when it happens. So that's very interesting. Um, that's pretty much all I have from this chapter. Some very interesting stuff. Um, we kind of learned how to like, how to kill Ishiki now. So that's cool. This next chapter comes out on October 20th. So we don't get that early release like we did this month, but Hey, you know, it's fine. It's whatever. Hope you guys did enjoy. You know, subscribe if you did, hit a like on that video. And yeah, make sure you guys join the Discord again. Um, I'm gonna be live streaming sooner today, so yeah. Uh, I will see you guys later. Peace.